Hello. So the silent patient was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. My name is Amber Elise. I love talking about books. If you do as well, then you have certainly come to the right place. Today we have a book review on The Silent Patient and also my thoughts on whether or not I think you should read it. This is an adult thriller book and it is also extremely popular in the book community and now I completely understand why. This review will start with a spoiler free discussion and then of course we will get into the spoilers. Let's talk Silent Patient. So this is a very chilling book that centers around a woman named Alicia and at first glance it looks like Alicia just has the perfect life. She's a successful painter. Her husband is a well-known photographer. She lives in this big, beautiful home. But one night she ends up shooting her husband in the face five times and then she never talks again. So there's a man named Theo. He is a psychotherapist and he's also our narrator throughout the story. And for a long time, Theo has wanted the opportunity to work with Alicia. Alicia is now at this facility called The Grove. A position opens up at The Grove and Theo ends up getting the opportunity to work there and work with Alicia. And now his mission has become to get her to talk and also to see what actually happened and what led her to commit this crime. My overall thoughts and feelings on this book. Listen, this is now probably one of my favorite books. I loved this book and the odd thing is I didn't even think I would like it. I didn't even want to read it. I cannot believe I took so long to read it. I can't. Actually I kind of can because I read The Maidens also by Alex Michaelides and I was not the biggest fan of it. So when it came to The Silent Patient I was in no rush to read it, but it is pure gold. A huge part of this could be that I've never had a book exceed my expectations as much as this one did. It exceeded it to the 19th power. But even without all of that, I just think this was a great story. And the experience I had with this book is just unmatched. For the cons, I have none, not one. I tried to find a con, one could not be found. I even went on Goodreads to look at the reviews and see what other people didn't like and the things I didn't like didn't bother me. I didn't see them as cons, but I can't find anything that I didn't like. I truly am obsessed with this book. And this is so odd because even some of my favorite books I have cons. I don't know what's going on here, but here we are, no cons. My pros, where do I begin? There are so many. The plot itself, I loved it. I adored it. It was so smoothly done and written. Everything connected well. I was never bored while reading it. It was everything I would want from a thriller plot and the plot twist kept unfolding and they were unfolding so organically and I was eating it up. The pacing, the pacing was perfect. I mentioned this in my review of The Maidens. I love how Alex does his chapters. They're short people. They're short and to the point. He had a few longer ones in this book but typically it's when we were learning more things about Theo, our narrator, or Alicia that we needed to get more details from. So that was fine but overall the chapters were short but we didn't miss any big important aspects of the story and I loved it. There was also so much information on the different ins and outs of what goes on into therapy and certain aspects of therapy. Greek mythology was discussed throughout the book to tie in different aspects of the story but all of those topics were introduced into the story in a way that, that was told in an informative way but still piqued your interest. Now I will say I read different reviews about people stating that a lot of the information in the book was not accurate so I do plan on looking up different things that were discussed and see what was accurate and what was off. I started this book at night, I finished it in the morning and I still wanted more so it's safe to say that the pros were pretty much the entire book. So should you read The Silent Patient, without a doubt, yes, 100% read this book, especially if you love thrillers. This is one of those books that I would obviously recommend to people who enjoy reading, but if you don't like reading and you want to start reading or you want to read one or two books a year, I highly recommend this book. So yes, I definitely think you should read The Silent Patient. So after talking to a friend, I wanted to add a segment into my reviews about whether or not these books are age appropriate. This is more so for teachers, parents, just in case there are some who want to share these books with a younger audience and they want to make sure that it's the right step to take. I definitely would not recommend this book for anybody in middle school and below. When it comes to high school students I could see this being a pretty intriguing book to get students interested in reading. That being said on multiple occasions there are some strong language that's used in this book. There's also a few not safe for work comments, discussions, and scenes. This may be obvious but my overall suggestion would be to read this book before giving it to somebody 16 and above to see whether or not the content is something you think the high school age student should be exposed to. For 
my rating, this is definitely a five out of five star book for me. Five out of five stars. That concludes my spoiler free discussion of The Silent Patient. If you have not read this and this is on your TBR, let me know or if you plan on reading it, let me know. That being said, it is now time to get to the spoiler discussion of this review. So if you have not read this book, goodbye, at least until you read it. If you have read it, let's talk The Silent Patient spoilers. I felt a lot of things after reading this book, but the biggest thing that I felt was betrayed. I felt so betrayed. It's always the weirdest and eeriest feeling when your narrator is the villain. Theo, why? Okay, Theo did not kill Alicia's husband. Alicia did that. But he created the situation, which is just bizarre. Like, I, I can't even like wrap my head around this story. He was the man in the diary. And when we got to that point where you're connecting it, it's just the most chilling thing ever. And then he thinks he's helping her. You basically stalk the wife so you can confront her and tell her, but you do it in the weirdest and creepiest way. Then you show up in her art studio, tie her up, wait for her husband to come home. And then you tell her not only would he have let you die, but that he was also cheating on you. Then you walk out the door and then she shoots him in the face five times. Now granted, she should not have shot her husband in the face five times, but he created such a horrible situation. And now knowing everything that she went through, can we just talk about everything Alicia went through? Her mother took her own life and then tried to take Alicia's life. And then Alicia's dad was mad that the mom died and not Alicia and Alicia heard him say that. Then her dad died by taking his own life. Then Alicia should think she finally found somebody who is the love of her life and amazing but it finds out he's been cheating on her. Then the husband of the person that he was cheating on her with puts her in a traumatic situation. She kills her husband which is a fault of her own and then he ends up injecting her with drugs and now she's in a coma. I, I just... I don't know. But then it's hard to root for Alicia because she shot her husband in the face five times. But then she's gone through so much. It's just a tragic story all around. Alex Michaelides books are definitely like modern Greek tragedies. Is that the point of what he does? I'm curious. I'm going to look that up. Who did you all think was the killer initially? I thought it was Theo's boss. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. And then at one point I thought it was the nurse, but no, it was Alicia, but it was just a very twisted situation. But I will say Alicia was smart and I loved how she she hid her diary in that painting. And I love how Theo thought he was just getting away with everything and he was going to essentially make the world a better place, which was just, how How do you think that? But no, the execution of when the detective revealed that he was caught was so well done. And then he slowly brings about the fact that, oh, we found her diary and there was one more entry and we know everything that you did. And Theo just is kind of accepting his fate. And as a reader, the ending can look very bleak, but I took it as a positive thing because I saw the positive paths they could have chosen. And I think Ruth, Theo's counselor, was a great example of that. She, to me, was that positive path. She told him what he could do. And in the end, he let everything get in his mind. I love this book. I learned so much from it. And I can't wait to read more of his books. All right, guys, that concludes my book review on The Silent Patient. What an experience. If you guys have read this book, I need to know your thoughts. I don't even know what particular thoughts that I want to know. Just let me know any thoughts that you have because I truly enjoy this. This video has come to an end, but of course I will see you all in my next video. Untweet me again, go read.